गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर दैट इज वाई डू वी फॉल इल हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट ऑफ फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेल बींग दिस इज द डेफिनेशन गिवन बाई डब्ल्यू एच ओ नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्यूट एंड द क्रॉनिकल डिजीजेस एक्यूट डिजीजेस दे अपेयर फॉर अ शॉर्टर duration of time and they do not cause any disability as such examples cholera diarrhea flu common cold so these are the acute diseases chronic diseases as its name suggest these last for many years these are called chronic diseases some of the chronic diseases may last for the entire life also a chronic disease most of the time it results in disability for example arthritis tb and diabetes so there is the difference between acute and the chronic diseases now next type of disease is congenital disease these are the inborn diseases they are present since birth most of the diseases are permanent and not easy to cure for example color blindness apart from congenital diseases next category is of acquired diseases the diseases which a person gets in his or her lifetime that is after birth are called acquired diseases so these diseases the person gets after birth and congenital diseases these are present from the birth now acquired can be further classified or it can be further categorized into communicable and non communicable diseases communicable diseases are also termed as infectious diseases and non communicable diseases are also termed as non infectious diseases now coming back to the communicable or the infectious disease when a disease happens because of microorganism it is called infectious disease because they spread very quickly like microorganism or the microbes responsible for such diseases may be bacteria protozoa virus fungi all these they are responsible for infectious diseases example of communicable diseases are given here like tb dengue dengue malaria hepatitis and diarrhea now non infectious diseases as its name clearly signifies that they are non communicable when a disease happens because of some malfunctioning in any organ means if any organ is not functioning properly that is called dysfunctioning or malfunctioning of any of the organ or maybe the genetic factor or wrong lifestyle these can be the factors which lead to non infectious diseases what can be the factors one is malfunctioning of any organ means if any organ is not working properly or genetic factor or maybe wrong lifestyle it is called non infectious disease example diabetes hypertension that is high blood pressure heart disease arthritis etc now the organisms or the microorganism responsible for infectious diseases so you have to learn some bacterial diseases viral diseases some fungal diseases and some protozoan diseases so malaria and amoebic dysentery is caused by protozoa then ringworm or dandruff caused by the fungus then common cold jaundice hepatitis flu it comes under this category that is viral disease and bacterial disease are diarrhea tb tetanus whooping cough so these all are the examples of the infectious diseases caused by the microorganisms
now next category is water borne diseases these diseases they spread by means of contaminated water contaminated means unhygienic or dirty so these diseases spread through contaminated water like cholera now next category is stds that is sexually transmitted diseases these diseases spread by sexual contact from the infected partner to the healthy person example is aids now next one is vector borne diseases there can be some diseases which are vector borne so before that you must be knowing what exactly the meaning of vector is vectors are the carriers of the disease they carry the disease or they are the carrier of the pathogens pathogens are the microorganisms which cause disease and vectors they are the vehicles or the carriers of the pathogens so what are pathogens pathogens are the causal organism or causal microorganism which caused the disease and vectors they are the carrier of that microorganism which cause disease you will understand this with a simple example in case of female anopheles mosquito female anopheles mosquito is a vector for the malaria the disease is malaria and malaria is caused by the plasmodium plasmodium is a pathogen and it is carried by a vector or the carrier and its name is female anopheles mosquito so i hope you understood the meaning of vector and the pathogen thank you very much revise